we're in a very small college here, and it's very easy to um, only speak to people within our college sphere. And I think that that breeds a kind of us-them mentality. And it's important for me as a teacher, as someone that I would want to be a participant in my larger community, to try to break that kind of boundary. So with my students, it's very important, I think, to make them go outside of places that they are normally quite comfortable. And um, meeting other people outside of their traditional community can be eye-opening on a number of levels. They will encounter problems that they did not know existed. They will encounter people that they like that di they did not know were there. They will sort of um, and they will find themselves becoming part of a larger community that they did not know that they could participate in. So I think all of that is incredibly valuable and eye-opening for students. To start us off, we went to the um, Cumberland County Historical Society. Um, and while I was there, I saw, um, I guess, what piqued my interest in my project. Um, I saw that there were um, a couple of the black churches here in town that were stops on the, on the Underground Railroad. And that really excited me because, um, you know, once again, like you study these things in, you know, your history classes, and this is to some extent a part of my own personal history. And now, like, when I go to church, you know, the pastor is like, hey, you know, come to brunch with me and my family, you know, and it's kind of like being from Los Angeles, like far away from, you know, my actual home and like family. It's nice to kind of feel that um, sense of home in the community a little bit. One of my end goals in terms of objectives was that the students would have to present their work to these partners, that they would have to not only create a website, but they would have to physically present their materials. And in doing so, I think an event like that is really key in creating a kind of relationship that continues to exist. And so for me, that relationship has continued to exist. It's been um, now um, a great opportunity because I'm asked to participate in larger Carlisle events or I know people on the street as a result of this experience. Um, my students have the same experience in which they now feel that you know they're not just speaking with people in the college but they're actually they know people in the neighborhood and I think that that's incredibly valuable. I mean, the way that I personally work best is, you know, through these discussions, through interacting with a variety of people, through, through fit, like, hands-on interactions. I'm not the best test taker. I'm not the best, you know, essay writer, if you will. Um, so I really, really, really enjoy these classes because it allows for me to express more of myself than just a paper would. Um, and I, it, like I said, it, like, life is not an exam. Life is not a paper. You know, life is the daily experiences you have and this class, these classes facilitate those daily experiences and help it make more sense. I think I benefit enormously from classes like this because I get to watch my students when they do that final public presentation. My students were moved. I mean, they were visibly moved by the impact that they had on the community and they didn't realize that they were going to feel that way until after that presentation. And so for me that's an enormous reward as a teacher to see that they can see a concrete um, result in the kind of work that they do, which for the most part they don't see when they hand in a research paper, when they hand in you know, a critical report on something. Um, in a regular classroom experience. You're able to connect with people and like really perhaps make a difference. You know, like you, you've impacted someone's life. The challenge of it is that you never know what's going to happen, of course, and that students will have experiences that you simply cannot anticipate because they're off in the real world. They're out, you know, they're outside of the classroom and they're interviewing people and Maybe they're going to offend someone, or maybe they're going to make a friendship, or maybe, um, you know, you, you have no idea what is going to happen or what potential problems are going to ensue, even as you try to prep students for all the possibilities that, you know, an interview may or may not go well, or um, 
they're not going to have enough sources to construct their research project, even though that project sounds incredibly exciting. And then they have to present it in public, right, regardless of whatever happens or w whatever kinds of trauma or uh, changes. And I think that is the challenge of the pedagogy, but that is also the reward of it.